Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Okay. So first of all, just understanding what IELTS is all about. What is IELTS? IELTS is International English Language Testing System. Okay. So we have IELTS for about three kinds. Three kinds of IELTS we have. IELTS general training, IELTS academics and IELTS for UK visas. But here we will be just talking about IELTS academics and IELTS general training. Okay, so first point here to discuss is the fee. Fee for IELTS academic and general training is just the same. That is 3250 Indian rupees. And next question that arises to a person's mind is that whether I should opt for IELTS academic or IELTS general training. So it is very clear from the word academic. Academic means education. If you want to go for your very higher education, for your university education, you want to pursue your bachelor's or your master's in an English speaking country, then you should opt for IELTS academic. But if you are just going for your high school admission means admission to class 10, 11 or 12 there, then you should go for general training. Furthermore, those people who want to migrate as a permanent resident or on a work visa, they must go for IELTS general training. Means in any case, if you want to go abroad to an English speaking country, you must take the IELTS test. After that, if I talk about the education requirement and the age, there is no restriction for taking the test means if you're taking the test you can take the test at any age at any educational level but yes these vary as per your visa and your university requirement which means that yes you can take the test at any age whether you are 15 years old or 16 or 17 you can take the test anytime at any age but it will vary as per your visa requirement and your university requirement. It varies then, right? So this is all about here that whether you take the IELTS academic or the IELTS general training. So next we will be talking about what different modules we have in the IELTS examination.